What's up, Winter Army, and welcome back to another video. And today is something I feel is gonna be incredible. Basically, I've never had a good rank in Fortnite. I think the best I've ever had is like a silver one. And so today is the start of a series. I'm going to be starting a series of grinding for rank platinum in Fortnite ranked. I feel as if platinum is good because I'm not the best Fortnite player in the world and I'm not the worst. And I feel platinum is a good rank for me and it fits kind of me as my play style. But I hope you do do enjoy. So please like and subscribe so you don't miss an episode of this series. But I knew doing this alone would definitely be a challenge. So I recruited the help of Dragon King from the Diamond Duo. So go share some love to them for helping me out by, yeah, just show them some love. And guys, I really do hope you enjoy this series because I put time, I'm going to put as much time and effort as I can into this. So I do really hope you enjoy this series of me grinding for platinum rank in Fortnite. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. Dropping into the first game. And now here we go. I'm dropping at this little mansion near City Steps. Now, Dragon King isn't with me as he had to go end up doing something on his own. He, had, he just had to do something. So here I am dropping in. And I start by looking around, seeing who is around me, seeing what I can tell. So basically, here we go, and then I see there's two people landing with me. So I'm just gonna try and take them both out. And here we go, and as I land, I pick up a green SMG, and I immediately get fired at. I run over to go take them out. I run in, grab this shotgun. I find the person, I start shooting them. And as we end up fighting, or shotgunning them, I'm able to get them, but this is where I end up realizing I make a huge mistake. They go down. I ended up queuing for solo, for duos as a solo. So I'm a solo in a duo match. And at first I'm like, oh, this guy, he is terrible. And then he gets some pretty good shots on me. I'm gonna die, this is not good. But I'm able to take him out with my SMG. And this is just crazy. And I'm over here like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely crazy. I can't believe what is happening. So I end up just going around. And I'm going to start looting the place, getting a bunch of resources. As I've just, like, still going through my head is I'm a solo in a duo game. So... I do that, I end up looting up, and then eventually I realize the storm circle is not in my favor. So I end up having to leave, and I end up realizing, hey, and I'm just like, where do I go, where do I go? I make my way across this road, train tracks, all this, and I realize there's like this little cave base so I'm going to go to that base and just try and loot up. So I make my way to this cave base as the train just finishes passing by. There's a couple of loot on the ground. Pick some of that up. I find the entrance to it. And now here I am. I've got to be very cautious. And this is me. So basically, I'm going to just be the most cautious I can. I start crouching. I am listening for every tiny sound because I do not want to die right now. This would not be the best ideal situation. So, here we go. Looking around. And I realize the place is looted. So, I kind of am just, like, pick up some of the loot that's off the ground. End up upgrading my AR and my SMG. I kind of finishing up looting the place. And then I make my way out of the base here. And then I realize there's another building across from me. So I decide to head over to this building and go gather some resources and just see what I can gather, some ammunition. Because remember, I'm a, I'm a duo. I'm a solo in a duos game. 
and I'm just kind of making my way. So I just loot up this place, pretty much loot up the area completely. And eventually I'm just making my way into circle, just trying to be like careful and cautious. And then right here, I get to this bridge and I'm making my way over to this chest. And this chest ends up being an epic chest. I thought it was a regular chest. I'm really happy. And I get a frenzy auto shotgun. This thing is gonna come in clutch later in this game. So I'm pretty stoked. I pick it up and I'm off to the other chest that's over here and I end up snagging it. This was pretty crazy. I was pretty happy about this. So, and and then I'm making my way over to the next storm circle. Here's some gunfights, run the opposite direction. And then I make my way to this little area by the train station. I thought there was some guy with a key card here. There wasn't, there was fighting in the distance. It wasn't actually close to me. So I kind of end up just looting this base, seeing what I can get. After that, I start making my way, just kind of seeing what I can find, looking around, seeing what things I can maybe pick up, stuff like that, just cause I, I've got nothing much. And then I end up finding a purple Nemesis AR. So this is huge. Pick this up, I'm gonna take that. This will help me in the long range. And then I realize there's some fighting down there. I'm gonna go the opposite direction and head into circle. So I make my way into circle. After making my way into circle, I make it here to Ritzy Rivera. And I kinda am realizing that this is definitely not gonna be well. I hear footsteps in the distance. I'm like, oh shoot. I'm probably gonna die here soon. There's no way I don't. And I fall down to this alleyway, and I'm just being as cautious and as careful as I can be. So I start kind of looking around and trying to loot some of the things I can. So eventually, I kind of make my way over here, and I realize there's fighting. So I'm going to go into this fight, and I'm going to just see if I can pick up a quick elimination. Just help my rank improve. Now, it's this default and Deadpool fighting. I take out the default pretty easily, and I start firing at Deadpool. My shotgun runs out of ammo, I switch over to my SMB, and I hit him, he's very low, he's like one shot, and he starts trying to build to keep himself away from me, but that doesn't work, I'm able to take him out, so I just picked up two more eliminations, and I am top seven now, so I'm like, oh shoot, now it's just a bunch of duos at this point, and me as a singular solo, so I make my way, into this building and I'm kind of trying to find some place to hide just to just kind of stay somewhere hide somewhere because I don't want to get caught and found eventually I make my way to this part of the building where I'm like this is perfect I can literally watch every angle of me of where they could come in because this door has a back blockade I just really have to focus on the front then I realizes realize it's a so me a solo and a duo left and the storm is not in my favor. So I have to go out here and I have to be as cautious and as careful as I can be. I hear footsteps. It was just an AI. It wasn't actually a player. But I make my way all the way. And I'm headed to zone. A person dies. And I'm like, dang, it's me versus a duo. And then another person dies. And I'm like, it's a 1v1. And then I hear the car of the other player. And here the other player pulls up. I aim my gun at his car, but I don't want to shoot, but he ends up hitting my bush. And then I realize his car has no durability, and I'm going to break it. And that's exactly what I do. Breaking the car, breaking his shield, the purple frenzy ends up getting me the dub. And I just won a game of duos as a solo. This is absolutely crazy. And this is crazy. I was a silver one at this time. I had played a couple of games before to sign me, and I go from silver one 16% to silver one 86%. All right, here we are in game number two. And this time we are with Dragon King. So I did get him to go to the mansion with me. But then I completely forget to jump, and I jump very, very late. So yeah, that just makes the journey a lot longer. So I make it here to the mansion, and there are two other people landing with me. 
I glide down, I grab the shotgun, and then I go for the chest here in this pool, and then I go for this chest over here, and I get shot at. So I'm like, oh, what the heck was that? So I grab what's in there, and I go over where I thought the shot came from, but it actually came from across the pool. So I go across the pool to find this guy, and I'm able to take him down pretty easily. And I try to pickaxe him, but I kind of miss. But then I'm able to pickaxe him. And yeah. So then his teammate comes up behind me. I shoot him once with a shotgun. I miss. Reload. And he gets a couple of hits on me. Then this briefcase turret from Dragon King comes in. He builds a wall. But I switch over to my AR and I end up taking him down. And then me and Dragon King are just like, alright, perfect, now we got this place to ourselves. So we end up looting the place. So eventually, after a while, Dragon King took off without me. So I hop in this car, and I start chasing after him. And then we start making our way over to this windmill to get some more loot. After gathering up some loot, we end up leaving the windmill and start headed over to this little shack here. And start just kind of exploring seeing what we can find and came over here to loot this little building after looting that we end up hopping on the train here just to get the crate to try and upgrade some of our weapons after a little bit of waiting the hollow chest ends up finally opening i'm able to upgrade my ar gather up some more shield because i kind of needed 50 shields so i gather that up and the med kit so, I end up healing up full. Actually, I didn't, I just didn't use the medkit for some reason. But then we make over our way to the forecast thing to get that. And we start shooting down at the forecast enemies, and they really weren't that hard to take down. So, we took them down pretty easily and grabbed the key card to go and get forecast. So we head to the area to get forecast, and for some reason I run right by it, and then I get it. Now we can see future Storm Circle, which is going to definitely come in clutch in the late game. As we make our way over to these enemies that we end up seeing. We make our way to the enemies, and we start raining down fire on them. Dragon King gets a nice snipe on them, and we are able to finish them off. And... He and, and then another person starts shooting at us. Dragon King easily takes them down. As we finish looting them, we end up moving, seeing if we want to go after the bounty or not. And we start trying to like think where we should go. And eventually we decide to go after the bounty. So we start chasing down the bounty, but he just kept moving like we'd get to the center of the circle with the bounty and he'd just move and he'd just like leave and it was really really annoying so we ended up just kind of keep trying to like chase him down so after a while we just kind of stopped chasing the bounty he ended up poaching um and then we run over here we i'm able to take this guy out giving our team six eliminations until dragon king gets fired at so he builds up a wall. I try to uh, look and see if I can get him, and I get sniped. And they just start spraying down the builds. And Dragon King cannot do anything. He does not know what to do here in this situation. So I end up just trying to run away from these guys, but they keep hitting me. Eventually, I end up dying. So it gives you a nice Dragon King perspective, and now he's just trying to do what he can, and he ends up getting sniped, and he can't do anything, his builds keep getting sprayed, he's on low health, it's just not a good combination, so he ends up ultimately just running, and then he, and then he, re then he gets fired at from a bush by a guy, another guy just ends up dying, but all in all, after that game, I did decent. I was able to get up to a silver to 76% because we did play another game that I did lose the footage to that got me into silver 
too. I ended up losing the footage. But we had a successful game two, and it went pretty well. And next up would be game three. All right, game three now. And here we go, me and Dragon King, the last one of this episode. So we're going to go right back to the mansion. And we're going to just hope we can get some kills and see if we can get into Silver 3 is the aim for this game. So here we are landing in the mansion. It doesn't look like anybody's landing with us, but there is like one person or two, I think, landing with us. So I start looting up, gathering some weapons. Dragon ends up taking one person out. And then he ends up taking um, the other one. So then we just have the place to ourselves, so we end up just looting it up. After looting up and healing up, we get on a bike together and we leave together this time. And then we end up crashing, so not fun. So then we have to start going on foot. We make our way kind of near the same path. We're kind of just like running around, seeing what we can do. And we make our way over to this building. We make it over to Fencing Field, and we kind of are just kind of looking for people. We end up running into people. We start firing at them. This guy has a riot shield, so he literally is able to block every shot. I get shot pretty hard. And then I'm trying to run away, and I end up getting shot. So we're not in a good position now. I'm down. He's on low health. Dragon King's on low health. They end up taking me out, and Dragon King's just trying to run away. He's just trying to heal and try and get out of there. So he's starting to run, and he is just like, all right, I'm getting out of here. So he starts to go and get out of here, runs into a guy, starts fighting him, and then just ultimately decides to leave. But then I tell him he forgot my reboot card, so he sneaks his way over to get my reboot card. He ends up snagging my reboot card, and things just go bad from here on out i tell him to get on the zip line to go over to that island he jumps in grabs the slurp barrels then jumps on the zip line to go over and he notices that there that there's a guy over at this building over here dragon king hits a nice snipe and he's and then he kind of loses him in the build he sees the guy keeps trying to hit him the guy just will not come on out he tries to throw the briefcase far enough he ends up getting hit a little bit briefcase just didn't go far enough and then he's kind of running around trying to push this guy he ends up getting hit once hits a nice snipe and he's pushing him getting sniped he builds a wall he's on low health he runs into this bush and there was somebody in the bush just waiting there and takes him out and it was just not the greatest way to go out it was pretty upsetting but it doesn't really matter because i was still able to get to silver three at a nice 16 percent, which is huge and is a great next set point for episode two so thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed episode one and i'll see you all for episode two. Peace.